Hi, I'm Ian and I'm the Lonely Chef. And we have a fabulously funny show for you in the next half an hour. At the end of the show, there's a number and I want you to jot it down and, and call me because, well, I'm single and I'm looking for a date and possibly a relationship and who knows, maybe even marriage. I'm looking to meet somebody special. I'm fabulously wealthy. I want to settle down and I want to share this wealth with that special person and just live happily ever after. So enjoy the show and hopefully we'll meet. Until we do, goodbye. Oh, uh, one more thing. <laughs> I do happen to lie an awful lot. <laughs> Lonely, I've been searching for so long. Lonely, only hoping you're the one who will change my life and make these dreams come true. Oh my word, I've just come off of three back-to-back -back triathlons and <laughs> I, I ran over 90 miles and because some people got into some problems, I carried them and their bicycles and I also swam with about a half a dozen of them, supporting them in my unique lifestyle way. That's, I'm, I'm that kind of guy. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, I uh, also went uh, to the... Chinese government, they requested that I be there. They needed somebody because of budget cutbacks in the army. They needed somebody to patrol the uh, Chinese wall. And <laughs> so I did this single-handedly running backwards and forwards for about 30 days. And of course, I had to deal with bands of terrorists and people that were trying to invade their country. But heck, it's, it's, it's an interesting uh, kind of line of work that I'm in. But uh, anyway, oh, I'm feeling kind of stiff, tell you the truth, although I'm in absolutely fabulous shape. Um, you know, I actually, when I'm in the kitchen, use my tummy muscles as a cheese grater. Uh, <coughs> it's, it's that rippled. Uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, time takes its toll, you know, and I, I tend to have a little stiffness uh, in various parts of my body. And this stiffness needs to be worked out, and. Today, I have a massage therapist coming over, and she is going to give me a massage while I'm cooking up this beautiful lamb dish. And uh, she's going to give me a massage, and for the first time on television, you are going to see one of the most sensual massages ever performed in a kitchen. So don't go away. We'll be right back in just a couple of seconds. Bye-bye. Oh, well, there we have wonderful little wine here from my vineyard in the south of France. Yes. Uh, Prince Rainier and myself are partners on this little enterprise, and um, uh, I've had to finance him a couple of times as he got into some serious trouble with um, uh, economic things in, the, in that country. But anyway, what we're going to cook up today is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful meal. Uh, we're going to roast some rack of lamb and we're going to put some sensual spices and bits and pieces together. And uh, it really is going to taste nice. So what we're going to do is put a little butter into uh, the pan, get the, uh, the sauce uh, started for this rack. And uh, this particular rack of lamb uh, came from my sheep farm in Australia. 
uh, <coughs> which I usually spend about, oh, maybe a couple of months every year uh, just going in and uh, showing them how to uh, bring in these sheep uh, from all over the range. It's quite a big spread. Uh, I don't use a horse. I don't use a horse. I just run. I run after these sheep. Now, there's been a lot of stories about Englishmen chasing sheep. And <coughs> part of that is a misinformation thing from British intelligence. But they are excellent sheep farmers. And you know the little dogs, they just sort of whistle, go shh, 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 and hand signals and things. Well, I was so poor when I started off in England that I actually couldn't afford a dog. And when I went to get the sheep in, I had to play the part of a dog. So I ran up the, the hills and stuff like this. And I penned them in. I penned them in. And uh, I do that to this day. So when I'm in my ranch in Australia, I just uh, go and uh, uh, bring my flock of some, uh, I think it's almost two million uh, sheep. Uh, I bring them in just like that. It's absolutely true. <laughs> anyway, back to uh, the sauce here. We've got this butter frying. Now, the first thing we're going to do is put in a little, uh, a little dill and get that nice uh, essence of dill uh, in the butter. And we'll also put in a little parsley. Mm. That looks colorful already, doesn't it? Just spread that around. Mm. Now, you can hear that popping. That's because there's a fair amount of moisture in the, in the dill. Uh, well, who is this? Is this my erotic, sensual massagist? Come on in. Ian? <laughs> Hi. It's Chris from next door. Well, I was expecting somebody else, Chris. Um, Are you busy? Well, yes, I am, actually. Good. You shouldn't be idle. I hate that. Do um, you have any coffee, Ian? No, I do not drink coffee, Chris. I am a purist when it comes to my kitchen. I am a pure chef. I am drinking this wonderful glass of wine from uh, my winery in the south of France. You have yes. your own winery? I have my own winery, yes. Well, <laughs> in that case, can I borrow a glass of wine? Um, all right. Well, I guess... Uh, is that enough? Say when. Oh, that's good. When? You have a winery. I, I guess you could spare a little bit, but that's fine. Thank you. Well, there you go. It's good. Try it. Great. It's good. So, uh, what can I do for you? I'm, uh, I'm having a massage therapist come over today, and she's going to give me a massage. I've just come back from running two or three back-to-back uh, -back, uh, triathlons, so I'm a little stiff, and, <laughs> and uh, she's going to be coming in and uh, giving me a nice sensual massage. Where do you meet these women? <laughs> Well, I think, Chris, uh, you know, that's one of my secrets because, you know, I'm, I'm the kind of guy that uh, attracts women. <laughs> uh, partly it's because of the way that I dress. I mean, I'm a snappy dresser, as you can plainly well, see. I think the robe has it, yeah. Yes, and, uh, you know, I, I'm an athlete. Uh, I think that that's a very strong thing that, that women are attracted to. And Do women like parsley on your lip, too? Should I put some of that on me? Uh, have I got parsley on my yeah. lip? Oh, Is well, that, uh, no, that, yeah. no, you need to be fairly um, clean-shaven, romantic-looking, sort of a Valentino look, and, and this is what, uh, you need to have this sort of self-assurance and, uh, and th what are you doing? I'm going to write that down. Oh, okay. Valentino. Uh, listen, Chris, one L or two? Chris, can I get you to help me here? I've got to do uh, sure. a little bit of prep here. Could you just sprinkle a little bit of parsley into that uh, pot still? Mm -hmm. I have some uh, pimentos here. Uh, these are fresh pimentos from my pimento farm in Pimento, which uh, is actually my, my own little country. I'll get a clean knife for this. Uh, <clears throat> I created this country, Pimento. It's uh, off the coast of Italy. Um, and it has its own stamp. And I do have one of the largest stamp collections in the world. Uh, <clears throat> it's, it's the envy of the queen. And, um, the queen of England? <laughs> That's right, the, the Queen of England. You see, I, I have very close connections to the Queen of England, Chris. I, yeah. And uh, <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question? Yes. Have you ever dated her? Well, you know, I, I could say yes and I could say no. You see, I'm still under the Official Secrets Act. When I was in British intelligence, um, I, was, I was sworn not to say anything about my personal relationships with the royals. So, uh, excuse me just a second here, Chris. Let me just put this in here. Can uh, I stir this for you? Or? Uh, yes, why don't you just move this around a little with this uh, thing. Let me just put some more in here. And uh, I've got some tomatoes here that uh, we need to just put in. And what we're doing here, Chris, we're actually making a nice little sauce which is uh, tangy with the dill and the parsley. 
and we're going to put uh, pour that over the uh, the rack of lamb when it's done. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. It's a pity you can't stay for dinner. It is, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of sorry because I don't have any plans. You, you don't. Well, uh, I never have any plans, Ian. Well, that's right. You know, Chris, I think that there's probably a problem here that uh, we should discuss. I mean, you see me. Uh, I have a good uh, social group that uh, come over here for dates and, and I know. So I on. see them coming up the hall all the time. Right. And, um, you know, on the other hand, you don't. Now, why do you think that is? Don't you think that this should be a sort of a, a self-examination process? Obviously, you're doing something wrong. I, uh, I tried to do a self-examination once and I hurt myself, so I'm not going to try that again. <laughs> well, uh, just don't ask me for any help, Chris. <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to also put in a, a little zucchini here, and uh, this, uh, this will be absolutely delicious. I just want to turn this up a touch more, we'll get that sizzling. Now, these tomatoes, should I let them mush up? Uh, not too much mush. Uh, you know, when I was doing the transarctic uh, dog sled race, mush was the word for the dogs. You know, mush, uh -huh. mush. And uh, that actually has a bad connotation for me because um, one time the dogs uh, deserted me and I was left with this 40-foot sled that I had to pull across the Antarctic. And uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's kind of cold up there, but, uh, you know, I had my um, uh, Lonely Chef line of underwear that uh, is going uh -huh. to be introduced to the public. It's not only very functional, uh, but it also is very romantic. It, uh, it consists of uh, some very rare fabrics, mostly Teflon. And, uh, and we, <laughs> what we actually do is recycle these pots and pans, pull off the Teflon and make underwear out of it. Nothing ever sticks amazing. to it. It's amazing. Nothing? Oh, nothing ever sticks. Well, that would come in handy, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> We'll be right back and we'll finish off this rack of lamb in just a second, so stay tuned and we'll be right back. Here. Parsley's still on your face. Well, you see, Chris, you, you should never do that. You should never no. uh, impose your finger upon somebody's face because, I mean, it's an intrusion into their aura around the skin. Now, I have actually written several volumes which are published <laughs> around the world in over a hundred different languages about the art of courting because, uh, well, it's a very interesting science and that's why I'm really kind of successful. So. And any hints that you young ladies out there watching television today might have, please send them in to me because I will include them in my volumes. And uh, anyway, it's a, it's a lot of fun, so do write in. Anyway, Chris, we've got to finish off this mm -hmm. uh, uh, sauce here for the rack of lamb. Yes. Uh, how's, how's that going? Okay, this looks is good. looking very, very good, Ian. Not, not that I know what it's supposed to look like when it looks good, but this looks good. Yeah. Well, that's the art of cooking, you know. It's the mm -hmm. art of knowing when it looks good. And the more color that you put into something, the better it is. I would agree with that. And uh, look at that now. Doesn't that look great? Now I've got, uh, nice. let me see, some capers here. Now, mm. these capers are from uh, my caper farm in, <laughs> in, in uh, South Africa. It's actually, they, they named the cape after my caper farm. I didn't know that. Yes, it's true. And uh, a lot of sailors actually look for these on the horizon. These, these little things here, they're delicious. Uh, they add a sort of a, a, a strange taste to the sauce, but it's wonderful mm -hmm. with the, uh, the mint and everything that goes into the lamb. So we just mix those in there. Okay. Doesn't that look wonderful? This is great. I can hardly wait to eat this. Uh, you're not invited, Chris, I'm afraid. Uh, mm. in, <laughs> so uh, I, I have only enough here for two people, oh. and uh, you're not one of them, I'm afraid. <laughs> I never am. Well, you see, Chris, I think what you need is some advice from me. You need to get some, uh, some advice on the art of courting and the art of uh, attracting the opposite sex. Well, you know, I've looked for these books. I haven't seen them in a, in a bookstore. Well, it's Maybe probably because I... they're sold out, Chris. Ah. Yeah. Ah. They're, they're uh, you know, oh, sometimes... That makes sense. Yeah, there's a high demand for them, uh -huh. and uh, it's understandable. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that uh, read these things, and um, if you want one, if you really yes, want one, I'd love then one. I happen to have about seven million of them at my house. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, let's put these now. The rack of lamb. This is all you do to this thing. You just take two racks of lamb, 
You put the interweave the uh, the bones here. Just put on a little pepper. And Chris, could I get you to just stick this in the oven, and uh, we'll just um, put that on at about uh, 400 degrees. Certainly. For about, uh, well, let me see here, probably no more than about 40 minutes. All right, well, that's the rack of lamb. That's the sauce here. This is looking tremendous. Super. Okay. okay. What's next for us? Uh, nothing, I'm afraid, Chris. Uh, you have to go. I am expecting a date, and uh, I'm going to have a wonderful massage here. Uh, isn't there something that you need to borrow from somebody else? Well, actually, I, if I could have just a dash more of wine, I'll, I'll go down the hall and see if I can borrow dinner there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Ian. I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll be back tomorrow. Because <laughs> I just don't have time to go to the store anymore, you know? I've changed jobs again. I'm now, what, are you, what are you doing now? I'm now dispatching cabs. So if you need a cab, call me. Okay. Thanks, you're my, Ian. You're my man, Chris. You're my man. You're my man. All right. Um, what we need to do here with this is just add the finishing touches, which is a touch of the red wine. And what happens is that the, the, these juices, it caramelizes. Doesn't that look absolutely wonderful? Oh, the, the capers in here are just terrific. They just have that wonderful aroma. Well, uh, we'll put in a little green pepper, and uh, that's, we'll fin that will finish that sauce. And once that rack of lamb is done, we'll pull that out. And we will pour that over, uh, pour the sauce over the rack of lamb. And it will caramelize uh, just a touch. And if you want this recipe, by the way, uh, there is a recipe book that is available with all of these recipes in. You just call the number at the end of the show and, uh, hey, uh, pick one up. It's a terrific uh, book. Oh, ho, here comes my massagist. Come on in. Come on. Hi, Ian. Hi, how are you? Good. Am I early? Uh, no, you're fine. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, it's terrific. Okay. Uh, I just uh, have to keep stirring this if you'd like to come on over, and uh, I'm glad you could make it. It's, it's wonderful for... Um, it you smells know. great. Oh, it's terrific. Listen to this. I just it thought sizzles. maybe I was early because you're not dressed yet. Well, um, I was thinking that maybe we could uh, get into a massage of some kind, uh, um, a sensual massage, if we can... Um, maybe, you know, as we're eating dinner or something, end up uh, with a nice massage. I, well, I'm really feeling stiff, actually. Are you? My shoulders, my muscles, my... Uh, yeah, I, I was just running up and down the Chinese Great Wall or whatever it is. Uh, backwards and forwards, about three or four hundred miles non-stop, and boy, I'm stiff. You must be really sore. Could you, I could usually... you rub my shoulders uh, a little bit here, just softly? Well, I just... usually only work on athletes, you know, people with sort of hard bodies. Well, that, that is me. That is me. If you're really in a lot of pain, if yes, I could I... just get you to squat down a bit, Ian. Just squat down a bit. <laughs> oh. Here, I'll just pull your neck up. <laughs> oh, how's that? Okay. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> oh, that's great! <laughs> you know what, Ian? I think maybe if I could get you to lie on the floor, I could probably help your back a lot more. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we'll do that. I'll just take this off and... Um, it's not exactly what I had in mind. This will probably thought... make you feel a lot better. Oh. Maybe we could just move this table. Oh, the stiff. Oh, from the... Uh, from the the back to back triathlons, right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh! Those tired, aching muscles. I have some mango body butter, but we'll use that a little bit later. Well, actually, I have developed the Lonely Chef line of uh, massage oils. Uh, Is that right? Yes, I've uh, developed the. Uh, here. Oh, I can you. just get you up. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Ian, I've, I'm uh, just going to walk on your back for a minute. See if we can get the kinks up. Oh! <laughs> How does that feel? Is that any better? <laughs> That's wonderful! Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great! <laughs> there, we should probably let you take a break for a while before we get into anything deeper. <laughs> right. Can I help you up? Yeah. Oh. How's well, that? That's great. How's that? The only thing missing was the essence oil that I developed. Right. The only chef line of essence. I developed this oil, it's called Essence of Spinach. 
essence of which spinach. Which I thought would be very romantic. Yes, you just rub that all over my body and I smell, smell like a big cabbage. Be great. <laughs> That does sound romantic. Yes. Uh, can we just take a break and just sure. check the food over mm -hmm. here? Uh, oh, oh, oh. All that work makes me really hungry. Oh, it does. That's yeah. good. <laughs> well, um, we're just about we're just about ready to do this. I need to just touch this up uh, a little more. Would you do, like a glass of wine? I would love a glass, glass of wine. A glass of wine. I've got a glass of wine here for you. Now, <clears throat> that ticking that you hear is actually a metronome that I've installed into this stove because all of my cooking is done rhythmically. Right. And <clears throat> it sort of fits in with the Like theme. the stroking and the kneading of massage. Yes, actually, you know, that really hurt what you were doing to me. Did it? But it feels good. Good, I mean, yeah, I, you look I, much better. I feel like a new man. In fact, uh, if you'd have kept that up, I'd have probably felt like a new woman. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll be back. <laughs> We'll be back in just a second with this wonderful meal. Uh, let's enjoy this. It's mm -hmm. terrific. Thank you very much. You're We'll enjoy a wonderful meal. Oh, well, let me just recap what I did here with this uh, this lamb. Uh, it's absolutely terrific. We made up this nice little sauce here. Could I just get you to uh, try a little of this as I'm talking about it because it is so wonderful. It's uh, peppers and capers, mm. and uh, uh, I also put in a couple of bay leaves in here. It's a wonderful recipe. I'm just going to give you a little nibble here, okay. and um, the rack of lamb. Uh, it's enough for two people by far. Uh, you could probably even have uh, three or four people here. Luckily, Chris doesn't know that I cooked enough for uh, <clears throat> more than two people. Who's Chris? Uh, he's my sort of obnoxious next door neighbor that sort of borrows everything from me once in a while. And anyway, it's a, it's a wonderful meal. Um, mm, it's doesn't that taste delicious? Mm -hmm. can, I, can I try a little of this with you? Mm -hmm. The rack of lamb is done, uh, I just want to have a little smidgen here, but the rack of lamb is done for about uh, 40 minutes at uh, around uh, 350, 400 degrees. And it's just delicious, but I like this sauce that goes with it, the eggplants and the capers and the sensuous smell and the aromas. They just make for a romantic evening. Mm, so good. Mm. Oh. Oh. Well, listen, that massage that you gave me uh, was wonderful, by the way. I Did feel it help? Like a, I feel like a, a new man. You look like a new man. Maybe it's the, the tie. <laughs> well, yes, I, I am a snappy dresser, and um, I, I, I like to dress properly for dinner. I mean, you're a very gorgeous young lady, and um, we have a wonderful meal here. For a copy of the Lonely Chef cookbook or a videotape of how you can be my guest on the show, or to join our Chef's Club where you could meet someone special on one of our romantic getaway parties, call 1-800-665-CHEF and have your credit card ready. If you would like to write to me personally, please send your letter to P.O. Box 740, Everson, Washington, 98247.